hello what is the value of d given that you have 5 to the power of d multiplied by 5 to the power of d multiplied by 5 to the power of d equals 10 then let's have it to be solution record that when we have a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n multiplied by a to the power of c this can be simplified as a to the power of m plus n plus c so likewise happen to this we are going to have it to be 5 to the power of d plus d plus d equals 10. So from here we have 5 to the power of d plus d is 2d plus d. We give us 3d then equals 10. Then let's introduce log to both sides of this expression. When we introduce log, so from here we have log 5 to the power of 3d equals log 10. Then when we have log p to the power of m, this power m will come down to base to be m multiplied by log p. So from here we have 3d multiply by log 5 equals log 10. So dividing through by log 5 to get the positive value of d from here. So this log 5 will divide by this log 5 will be 1 times 3d. So from here we have 3d equals log 10 divided by log 5. Then recall that we can also have 10 to be the product of 5 times 2. So from here we have 3d equals log in parentheses 5 times 2 divided by log 5. Then recall that when we have log a times b in parentheses as this equals as log a plus log b. So when we apply it here, we are going to have 3d equals log 5 plus log 2 divided by log 5. Then recall that when we have a plus b divided by c such that a comma b comma c they are member of integer whether positive integer or negative. So we can simplify this to be a divided by c plus b divided by c. Then when we apply it here, we are going to have 3d equals log 5 divided by log 5 plus log 2 divided by log 5. So we have 3d, log 5 divided by log 5 will be 1, plus log 2 divided by log 5. Then recall, when we have log a divided by log b equals as when we have log a in base b. So from here we have 3d equals 1 plus log. Our a is 2, so here will be 2. Our b is 5, here will be 5. So we have 3d to be equals 1 plus log 2 in base 5. Then dividing through by 3. 
So this thing we divide by this will be 1 times d. We have d to be equals 1 plus log 2 in base 5 divided by 3 to be the value of d. Then let us check. So to check, we have 5 to the power of d multiplied by 5 to the power of d multiplied by 5 to the power of d equals 10. <clears throat> then from here we have 5 to the power of d plus d plus d will give us 3d equals 10. Then from here, let's substitute the value of d that equals this. So we have 5 to the power of 3, open parenthesis, 1 plus log 2 in base 5, 5 by 3, then it's going to give us 10. So 3 divided by 3, this we cancel. We have 5 to the power of 1 plus log 2 in base 5. Then it's going to give us 10. So recall that when we have a to the power of m plus n equals as a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n. So, from here, our m is 1, our n is log 2 in base 5. So, this will give us 5 to the power of 1 multiplied by 5 to the power of log 2 in base 5. Then, it's going to give us 10. This 5 to the power of 1 simply means we have 5, 1 times 5, multiplied by 5 to the power of log 2 in base 5, then it's going to give us 10. Recall that when we have a to the power of log b in base a, so far this base and this are the same, b, the output will be b, and this implies when we have 3 to the power of log 4 in base 3. So far this base and this are the same, the output will be 4. So from here we have 5 multiplied by the base and the same, this will be 2. 5 times 2 will give us 10. So from here, 10 equals 10. And since the left hand side equal to the right hand side, this implies d equals 1 plus log 2 in base 5 divided by 3. Satisfy the problem given to us. Bye-bye.